G'day guys, James here from Carbon Off-Road. Now today I just want to quickly talk to you about the differences between a twin tube shock absorber and a monotube shock absorber. Now in front of me we have a twin tube shock absorber that's been pulled apart and also a monotube. Now this one here had to be cut apart because it's a mass produced OE style twin tube shock absorber so we just had to cut the top off here and get it open but you can see why it's called a twin tube shock absorber because it's got an outer tube and an inner tube and basically this shaft and this piston runs up and down inside of here pushes fluid up and down it also pushes fluid through a foot valve and then that fluid comes all the way up in here and in about this section here there's a, a section of low pressure nitrogen gas that basically puts pressure on the oil to assist with helping it to prevent cavitation and cavitation is when gas or or oil mixed together and they start to foam and that happens under a lot of fast oscillations and basically the the fluid and the gas mix together and then you get a loss of of performance in the valve because basically it's not just solid fluid that's going through the valve there's actually oil and gas mixture going through there so you have a loss of performance now with a monotube style shock absorber you can see that it is basically a lot thicker uh, in material than a twin tube shock absorber. This is probably about 1.2 to 1.6 mil thick. This is probably about three millimeters thick, but it's a monotube, so it's only got the single, so it doesn't have a tube inside of a tube. This is the tube. And basically how this works is that the piston goes up, up and down inside of this tube. Now this, this shock runs this way, upside down and this is a piston ring and that just goes around here it's a teflon banded piston ring and basically how this works is that there's fluid inside of here and there's also a section of here of high pressure nitrogen gas as well so just up inside of here now what separates those two is a internal floating piston so that um, sits in between here between the oil and the gas and so you have no uh, Basically, you can never have any foaming or cavitation because the fluid and the gas can never mix. Now, also, the benefit from having an internal floating piston is that as this shock absorber travels up and down, constantly this floating piston moves as well and it acts as an as a additional dampener unit. And so it gives you far better control and far better comfort uh, with the use of this separator basically between the gas and the fluid. So there you go guys, just a bit of a, a rundown on how a twin tube shock absorber works and a monotube shock absorber works. Thanks for watching guys, talk to you soon, cheers.